ESPN's John Amy was tossing around names this afternoon like Holly Butte and Butte Everly Hills because the mining city has been getting a lot of attention from the film and television industry and kept local artists busy and more work is expected. With so many film and television productions going on in Butte, local artists are getting some very interesting work. My friend Sam Debris came up last night and he goes, we need to make it so that we can impale somebody with a plow. Many film and television productions have been going on in Butte over the past several months, providing an abundance of work for local artists and skilled laborers. We turned Matt's diner into a donut shop. Uh, this is movie magic. It's something different every day. You don't know what you're going to be doing. One production rented out the Butte Civic Center, where they built a set on the arena floor to be used in a feature film. These productions bring many people and a lot of money to Butte. They've had over 800 room nights in hotels. They're eating in our local restaurants. They're buying materials in our local hardware stores. We were hiring people from all over town. We spent, I think, $3 million in three weeks. You know what I mean? And so when there's five productions in town and we were the low budget one, that's millions and millions and millions of dollars that get poured into the local economy. Filmmakers already like the way Butte looks. And if locals can get trained in all aspects of film and television production, well, there's plenty of work in the dream factory industry. There's going to be tons more production coming. <laughs> you know, like as you look around, we had, I think we've had five productions here. Um, just in the last three months. So, um, and there's more coming. And if we're not ready for it, we'll blow it. Filmmakers find it easy to work in Butte, and the town's reputation is likely to bring more to the mining city. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. A man 